So what is a Facebook ad and how can it help you reach the desired clientele that you need via Facebook advertising? In this video, we'll show you a quick walkthrough of the basics of setting up a Facebook ad and how to actually target your desired audience. Coming up. Hey, it's Carlos with Capita Media, bringing you the best digital media, tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. And in this channel, we do a lot of videos on digital media, marketing and advertising, as well as bringing you the latest social media platform updates and walking you through and showing you how to use them. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay, so what you wanna do is head up here to the little drop down arrow, click it, and click create ads. So you will be taken to the ads manager. This is where you will begin your ads. So uh, one of the first things to ask is what is your marketing objective for this ad? So Facebook breaks it down to three marketing objectives, awareness, consideration, and conversions. If your objective is to attract the most eyeballs to your page or brand, I would go with either brand awareness, reach, or video view ads. Engagement is if you want to get more post likes, post comments and shares, as well as page like. Lead generation to capture leads and traffic if you want to drive them to a specific website or landing page. Make sure you have a Facebook pixel installed on that website. That way you can start tracking and creating a custom audience of the users that are going to that website or landing page. Then you can remarket to those users who went to your page using the conversion ads to remarket to them. If you don't have a Facebook Pixel installed or don't know how to install one, I do have another video showing you how to install a Facebook Pixel. So Facebook breaks down your ads into ad levels, currently in the campaign and objective level. That's where you choose what's your marketing objective. Once you choose that, you will be taken to the ad set level. There you can pick your audience, who do you want to target, what's their age, demographic, certain different criteria, place, if it's USA or global or something more local, specific city, on Instagram or mobile only, and then your budget and schedule. So how much money do you want to spend on this? Do you want to do a daily budget, lifetime budget? Do you want it to just to run for a few days, a week, a month? And then the ad level. You get to format your ad. What sort of media do you want? Is it a picture? Is it a video? Is it several different pictures? And then you can also add, you know, your description, your text. You can create a call to action button. Okay, let's go ahead and create an ad. So let's just go with brand awareness. It'll ask you to name your campaign. Now, one of the best things to do is to start naming your campaigns for what they are. Okay, so you can start with, you know, adding the date, maybe a demographic that you added. City, or if it's the name of a particular project that you're doing, you know. As you'll see, as you start creating more and more ads, you want to make sure you know which ad it is because if not, it's going to start to get complicated and it'll be, you know, really tricky and easy for you to start um, losing your money or spending your money unwisely. Go ahead, click continue. Second level, the ad set level. This is where you can choose your audience. So, you know, what location, you know, is there a city, a state, is it global, uh, what age, what gender, and what language do you want to target? In the target audience section, you can also target competitor pages. So if you have a competitor who has a big page, a lot of following, you can target the people who like that your competitor's page. Connection type. So here you can, uh, if you want to target to people who like your page, friends of people who like your page, or exclude the people who already like your page. If they already like your page, you don't want to target or retarget to them where you can spend that or allocate that extra uh, money or views to other people who haven't liked your page. Automatic placement. So your ad's going to be automatically placed or shown to the audience in the places they're likely to perform the best. So Facebook sort of knows where they will perform the best. You know, this includes Facebook, Instagram, or their audience network or even messenger now. Budget, so pick what sort of budget you want or want to allocate for this ad. You can do a daily budget, 
or a lifetime budget. So let's say you only want to spend a hundred dollars, you can put a lifetime budget and you spend a hundred until it's over, or if you want to do a daily budget, you know, you could spend five dollars only a day until a certain period of time. And if you want to do five dollars a day for a month. You know, you can do a day, a couple days, whatever you want. You get to choose what you want as far as how long or how much you want to spend and how long do you want it to run. Okay, so here we are, the third level, the ad level. So here you get to choose which Facebook page that you want represented in the ads and which Instagram account you want represented in the ads. So the format, you can choose a carousel, which is two or more images or videos. You can do a single image, single video, or a slideshow, which is basically a looping video with up to 10 images. Go select single image. Now what's gonna be pulled up is one of the posts that you have done. So here I have a recent post that I've done, and I want to make that post into an ad. You can also change the image if you want to. Change to a different image. You can browse in the library of other images that you've used before. You can also change the current text on there. You can also add a uh, URL if you want one to keep track of this. And you can also add a Facebook pixel. Like I mentioned, Facebook pixel, it's a code uh, that you put on your website or landing page and Facebook tracks the people that are going to your website. Again, if you're doing a specific ad and those people are going to your website from that specific ad, you can retarget and build an audience from those people that are going there and retarget them again with a different ad. Here's the ad preview. So what it's showing you is how your ad will look. So right now it's showing me how it will look in the mobile news feed, how the ad is placed in the uh, featured phone, desktop, in this in instant articles and in the Instagram news feed and as well as messenger okay once you're ready let's click confirm so it'll let you know it has been confirmed and you'll receive a notification once your ad is ready click continue okay so now we're in the ads manager homepage so this is sort of similar to what we were working on before with the different level you have the you know the account overview level this shows you how much you've spent impressions clicks campaign level so this shows you other previous campaigns that you've had before ad set it's showing me my current campaign so remember the ad set level is where you have your audience level so if you've made your ad and you decided hey maybe it's not performing well or maybe you want to refine your audience you can click right here Head on over to this arrow. Click right here to edit. And now you can change it here. You want to change the daily budget spent. You know, when it ends, change your audience. So it's basically, like I said, it's the ad set level. So the same options you had in the ad set level previously when you're creating your ad, you have it here. Okay, and then here's the ad level. Here's your ad. It's showing that it's active, and it'll show you the amount spent. Um, same thing, you can click here. You get the arrow out here, and edit. And you can change anything you want, again, in the ad level. Change the image. Add more images. Add multiple images. And then same thing from the previous options that you had. Okay, maybe change the page, Instagram. So for some reason, if you don't want this ad to run anymore, head on over to this. You can click on it to toggle it. And it'll go from active to inactive. So there it is. That's how you create a Facebook ad and create a target audience that you want to reach with that specific ad. Remember, Facebook ads, very, very robust system. So many different things and tools you can actually use uh, to try to target 
your audience. Now in the next videos, we'll show you a lot more. We'll go into more detail on how to create a Facebook ads, different sort of ads, how to create Facebook pixels, how to do look like audiences. There's so much more that Facebook ads can do. Question of the day, have you started doing Facebook ads? And what are your techniques and how have you used those to grow your business? Definitely make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Remember, some of the best tips and tricks and feedback come from you, the Cepeda Media Community. So make sure to get down there in the comment section and connect and start talking with everybody else. So thank you again for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to see another Cepeda Media video, make sure to click or tap on the screen right here. Again, Cepeda Media, bringing you the best digital media tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. We'll see you next time. Bye.